हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट्स आय एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर आय सजेस्ट यू वन थिंग प्लीज वॉच व्हिडिओ कम्प्लिटली सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेअर इम्पॉर्टंट देन नोट इट अँड प्रोसिडिंग फर्दर इफ यू फाइंड सम डिफिकल्टीज देन प्लीज राईट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आय विल डेफिनेटली सॉल्व युअर प्रॉब्लेम अँड अलॉंग विथ प्लीज लाईक शेअर अँड सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल दॅट कॅन रीच मोर अँड मोर स्टुडंट्स थँक यू let's see what the question says in the figure a ladder of mass m is shown leaning against a wall a wall it is a static equilibrium making an angle theta with the horizontal floor the coefficient of friction between the wall and the ladder is mu1 and the and that between the floor and the ladder is mu2 the normal reaction of the wall on the ladder is n1 and that of the floor is n2 if the ladder is about to slip then you have given four options first option mu1 is equal to 0 mu2 is not equal to 0 and n2 tan theta equal to mg by 2 option b mu1 is not equal to 0 mu2 equal to 0 and n1 tan theta equal to mg by 2 option c mu1 is not equal to 0 mu2 is not equal to 0 and n2 equal to mg by 1 plus mu1 mu2 uh, option d mu1 is equal to 0 mu2 is not equal to 0 and 1 tan theta equal to mg by 2 this question is asked j advanced 2014 let's see what the diagram says here you can see a ladder leaning against the wall and here the friction coefficient is given mu1 and at the end of ba friction coefficient is given mu2 and it's making angle theta you can see that when it just began to slip just to slip then normal force is applied to the normal to the surface of bd and same things here at that uh, normal force n2 working normal to the ad surface right now you can see that when it's moving downward direction and as you know that its friction force is acting to the upward direction and so therefore mu1 n1 is equal to f1 and same things apply here to the surface when it is just begin to slip it's move towards to left side and so therefore f2 act to the right side that f2 equal to mu2 n2 now we have going to the one by one to our concept now first of things let mu2 consider 0 suppose mu2 consider 0 and that time mu2 becomes 0 it means it means f2 is equal to 0 and f2 is needed to the balance of n1 f2 is needed to balance n1 so therefore this condition is not applicable for the second condition let us suppose mu1 is equal to 0 then mu1 is equal to 0 it means f1 equal to 0 in that case we have taken the balancing torque two points a is equal to n2 and perpendicular distance is ac and this torque is equal to when it is slipped down then uh, this is n1 and perpendicular distance is bd right now you can see that we can find out the ac with the help of this triangle cos theta base upon hypotenuse this is l by 2 if the center of mass the length is l by 2 total length is l so here ac can be written as l by 2 cos theta same things applied here n1 and the case of bd you can see that sin theta perpendicular and this is hypotenuse total length because n1 is applicable you can slip down b <coughs> bd right so therefore bd can be written as l sin theta you can see n2 and m2 
mg balance each other means m2 equal to mg so now substitute mg l l cancel mg by 2 cos theta equal to n1 sin theta Now it can be written as mg by 2 n1 tan theta. So let's see which option is matches. Here option D is given mu1 is equal to 0 and mu2 is not equal to 0 and n1 tan theta equal to mg by 2 means option D is correct. Let's see next condition. Let's see for the next condition mu1 is not equal to 0 and mu2 is not equal to 0. In that case, this letter is balanced means it is still raised. So in that case, upsided forces, which upside force? N2 is upside force and uh, here F1 is also upside force. This is equal to downward direction forces, Mg is equal to Mg. I hope so you have understand which is upside forces look at the picture again n2 and here f1 n2 plus f1 equal to mg then n2 but f1 is equal to mu1 n1 equal to mg now again you can see that n1 is applied to the left direction and here is it balanced to f2 so n1 equal to f2 and in the place of n1 we have substitute f2 but f2 is equal to f2 is equal to mu2 n2 mu2 n2 equal to mg then n2 plus mu1 mu2 n2 equal to mg then n2 get common 1 plus mu1 mu2 equal to mg then n2 equal to mg by 1 plus mu1 mu2 let's see which option is correct now here option c is matches mu1 is not equal to 0 mu2 is not equal to 0 and n2 equal to mg by 1 plus mu1 mu2 yes so option c and option D is correct answer. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for staying till the ends of this video. And yes, let me remind you again. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. That can you get the information for the next video. Bye bye. Take care.